Welcome to the Appliance Show, Jonathan the Appliance Dude, coming at you from Curdos in Westchester County. I welcome you to my inner sanctum of appliance pleasure and knowledge. And I uh, sit here in Seiza, um, enjoying, enjoying time, enjoying each moment. Um, it's what a beautiful time of the year. We're in August, approaching mid-August. The evenings have that faint hint of autumn in the air. Nights are getting cooler, crisp. I'm digging it, big time. Um, we need to speak again. We need to revisit something here. DCS, Dynamic Cooking Systems. Months ago, I did a, um, I produced a video on the RGU 366, and um, it was a voiceover video. You didn't see my mug on it, and um, I was just kind of taking baby steps with the product at that point. But now I'm at, I'm at the, uh, I have a comfort level with this product. I'm selling enough of them lately that uh, we need to revisit and talk about it a little bit again. There's a lot of questions in the air about DCS and. Um, you know, what do I feel about the brand, the product, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. And, um, you know, for those of you who don't know, Dynamic Cooking Systems, DCS, has been one of the bellwethers of the, uh, uh, the high-end cooking category for decades now. The big question about DCS um, in the last couple of years, you know, they changed hands. They were purchased by a private equity group years ago from the original owner, and then that had, they, uh, they were then sold to Fisher Paykel, the New Zealand concern. You know, they're, they're known for their dish drawers and what have you. Um, and then Fisher Paykel sold them. This, this was the big question mark. You know, over about a year or so ago, Fisher Paykel sold out to um, Hire. Hire, Hire, Hire. Uh, big, big, huge, gigundous uh, Chinese concern, okay? And when that happened, you know, all the talk in the business is like, well, what DCS has done, they're shot, they were bought by a Chinese manufacturer, it's gonna get put, you know, plunk, just shoved into the ground, the brand is dead. Well, that has not happened. And actually, um, I've kept a very close pulse to the situation because, you know, we have an investment with them, we do have a display, it's not the biggest, but, you know, I do enjoy selling the product and I certainly couldn't, uh, position this to my customers as a high-end cooking product if it was going to be uh, the product quality was going to be destroyed and um, et cetera, et cetera. That hasn't happened. Actually, the interesting thing is uh, Fisher Paykel, who again is kind of DCS's like parent company, they have been kept um, basically, I think it's, there's just a subsidiary of Hire and they have not been, um, uh, they, you know, Hire did not put them on management, the place in Fisher Paykel or DCS. So they've really kept the hands off, which is actually made me very comfortable. Because let's face it, the issue here is not that Hire is a um, is an Asian manufacturer at all. The issue is that they are not known. A Hire company is not known for making high quality products. It just is what it is. Um, they're a they're a volume commodity appliance manufacturer, and at least that's how we know them here in the United States. And the product quality isn't that great. And we would have we would have hated to see that seep its way into DCS. It didn't happen. All they have done at this point is just inject cash into DCS so they have more money to do more fun and cool things. So um, that's fantastic. 